Ready to fight. Ready. Good. All right, so here he is, the still undefeated Spaniard, Ilya Topuria. And even before he became the world champion, his Instagram bio said UFC featherweight champion. Self-belief and confidence are not issues for one of the more sophisticated fighters and athletes on this roster. He just has a wisdom and a maturity that belies his years, and that's why even in a matchup like this, he will be patient, he will be calculated, and when a window opens to close the show, more than likely, he'll close it. He has absorbed a lot of power shots. Nice play. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Lee gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. All right, let's go. Keep that right hand up. We cross the midpoint in round one. He threw that one with all the... Huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging, but down the line, you're going to really pay for it if you don't address it right now. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, this striker has come out swinging early, and you know his style is based on aggression, and largely it's worked out for him tonight. It's worked out phenomenal for this point. He's fighting, and he's fighting exactly as he needs to if he wants to win this fight. By Lee. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Lands a nice one, too. Oh, that's a big right hand that got through. Oh! Able to block the punch there. Lee's now dealing with a cheek cut. That's a big hook. So under 30 seconds to go and would have been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Five minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. All right, different round, but same approach out of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter. I'm not sure if there is an injury, but his ground game is so strong, he hasn't made any effort to take the fight. Back. I don't understand when you possess that skill, when you're so good on the ground and so strong in positions, he does such a great job of finding submissions. I don't know why he didn't spin the vast majority of the fight there. Tonight he is fighting a very confusing style of fight, and I just don't get it. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, great block there. 
Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack. He's got to start going now. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. So Cody is cut, not getting blood in his eyes, so that's a good thing. Oh, he's there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mom's house for Thanksgiving. This dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Oh, big left hook there. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in... All right, breaking the action here. No surprise to see if the ref is going to get the doctor to look at that eye that is nearly shut at this point. Yeah, it's swelling bad. But he seems to still want to be out there. I think they're going to stop this fight. I stand corrected. Doctor's going to allow them to continue, but he's going to have to go for it, I would think. Yeah, he will. He's got to make some adjustments. And also, he's going to have to lay it all out on the line. You ready to he fight? cannot stay back ready. and get picked apart as he has to this point. All right, round two. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect that. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. Because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. What a fight, what a display of physical... Oh! Wow, well, both of them are landing massive shots. Keep going with that. Oh, right here! That knee might have landed there. Oh. How about those five minutes? All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool. And I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because... Even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's horrible. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go, third and final round. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Topodia's cheek is just pouring blood all over his face, all over the canvas. That gash is terrible. So bad, the hand strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Lee's eye is now swollen shut. They could actually stop this. Oh, he got him again. Both guys appeared to land there. Slips. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight.
finish here. Oh, it looks like he's going for an armbar here. How tight is that? It's got to be it. It seems so tight. Oh, he's out. He actually escapes. Look, I got to stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. War it has been probably going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation, and I wouldn't be surprised to see both fighters at the hospital later tonight. It just takes me back to certain fights. It takes me back to Michael Johnson against Justin Gaethje, Justin Gaethje versus Michael Chandler, Michael Chandler versus Dustin Poirier. The best fights in the world is what I think about when I look at these two, from the blood, from the damage, to the heart and the spirit that these two have shown. I cannot believe that these guys have made it to a minute left in the fight with that type of ability. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 52 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Elia Elfandico! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive...